talking all the ones with the ketchup. Fine, you can have them all. I really don't care. Oh, PMS? No, DST. Dr. Spencer Truman. He should be at Wingdale right now, not walking around free. And there's the witch that helped him get away with murder. Isn't that coal smell? Yeah. Part of me feels bad for her. Because of what my dad did to her. Then another part of me wants to scream at her for saying that Dr. Truman wasn't sane enough to stand trial. <laughs> Wish she never came to Landview. Yeah, but if she hadn't, you'd never know Cole. Which, personally, I think would be a good thing. Come on, let's go. Why do I have to leave? You really want to risk her seeing you? I'm not scared of her. What if she's waiting for Cole? You think? What? Such an idiot. This isn't about Cole's mom. This is about Cole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You still have a thing for that pill-pushing poster boy for anger management issues. Why? Stop it, okay? Cole Thornhart's a steroid-addicted egomaniac who gets his kicks not by pushing him around and you enough. like it. Stop it. Hey. to interrupt. I was just me and my mom. I'm sure you didn't mean to eavesdrop either. Hey, Langston, you know that ketchup uh, you were talking about before? Why don't we go get it? What? I told you to shut up. I didn't say anything behind his back that he wouldn't have said to his face. What about to my face? You act like I still like him. I call it as I see it. Well, then you're blind. Get over yourself, Star. You know what your problem is? That my best friend is turning into my mother? If I was your mother, you'd be in a convent. You're sick. You're delusional. You're making goo goo eyes at him, and that's exactly where you're going. I can't just ignore him. He took steroids. He stopped. He tried to attack you. But he's sorry. His mom freed the man who put your dad on death row. His mom, not him. You've really fallen from No, I'm not. I'm sure your parents will buy that just as much as I have. Do you have a death wish? This is my life, Langston, and my decisions. Fine. Good luck with that. You're gonna need it. I guess you heard that. Pretty much. Look, Langston just doesn't know what she's talking about, and sometimes she just doesn't know when to shut up. No, she's a good friend. You know, and everything she said about me, well, she's right. Langston was looking out for you. There's nothing wrong with that. There's a long line of people looking out for me. One more and my lifeboat will sink. Yeah, but sometimes friends can make you listen when no one else can. And sometimes they make you wish you were deaf. No, I'm serious. You know, Gabe was selling me steroids and, and I wanted to quit, but he told me, he, he convinced me not to. Gabe was not your friend. Well, I thought he was. You know, and, and Coach was, was always lecturing us about staying away from that stuff. And, you know, if a real friend had told me, then maybe I would have listened. You don't know that. If you told me, I would have. You know, you are really lucky that you have a friend who tells you stuff that you don't want to hear. Yeah, well, sometimes it doesn't feel that way. This is right. Your folks are never going to change their mind about me. Which is so unfair. No, it's not. I deserve it. You don't. You no, know, I, I should have never asked you to be my friend. Again. I didn't have to say yes. I put you in a really bad position, okay? You know, and from now on, from now on, I'm just going to leave you alone. What about what I want? What do you want? It would be a lot easier for me to tell you what I don't want. Tell me. I don't want people making decisions for me. I know the feeling. What else? I... I don't want people looking at me like I'm a problem that they have to solve. I don't want Langston to be mad at me and I don't want to go to boarding school. Your folks are sending you away? My dad tends to talk about it when he's angry. Why? Because of you. I don't want to be a 
problem, I told you. Look, Cole, I don't want you to go. Well, I have to. No, you don't. You've made a mistake. Welcome to the real world. I forgive you, Cole. Start forgiving yourself. your parents don't want you anywhere near Cole. They would be furious if they knew you were here. Well, actually, I think my parents right now are furious that you decided to testify for Spencer Truman. Why did you do it anyway? To get back at my dad for what he did to you in college? By helping out his worst enemy? On the next One Life to Live. You and Antonio could go, but that doesn't mean that the party has to end. Nash and Layla aren't done with that date. I believe that uh, finding your mom and dad could lead us to Spencer Truman. She's dead, so you killed her. 